Today we're going to find the perimeter and the area of a rectangle. Sometimes it's confusing and we often forget which one is which. So over here I have put a little note. Perimeter equals the fence of a shape, which means if you were to build a fence around the shape, how much fencing would you need? The area is the amount inside the shape. So if you were to lay carpet inside that shape, if you were to go to Home Depot, you would need to tell them how much carpet you need to buy for that shape. Or it could be your room. So this is our rectangle. The dimensions are 5 inches by 7 inches. Since we know about rectangles, we know that seeing the 7 here means that the other side is 7 inches and the 5 here the other side is 5 inches. So for perimeter, all we have to do is add up the sides. Now, you guys are really good at doubling, so we're going to take a shortcut. The double of 7, we know, is 14 inches. The double of 5, we know, is 10 inches. So if we were to add 14 plus 10, we would get 24 inches. Now, very important, don't forget the unit and the unit is just pulled right from here. If there is no unit on your rectangle, you could just write 24 units. But in this case, we know it's inches. So I'm gonna put here too, just regular old inch because area is a different unit. So now, we found the perimeter. So let's go ahead and put P equals 24 inches. Now, we're also asked to find the area of this rectangle. And there's two ways to find the area. The first way could take a long time, um, but it, some students like it because it's easier. You just take your pencil or whatever you're using and you make dots in each square as you count. Now, if your shape doesn't have squares, you can't do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So I counted all of those and I got 35. So I'm going to write that right there. Now 35 squares in this case. Square what? Hmm. Each square is an inch. So the unit for that would be square inches. And we write that with an inch abbreviation and a little two that's kind of on the shoulder of the inch, which is the square sign. Now I'm gonna go and show you the other way also. The other way to find area is to look at the rows of a shape, and you can only do this if it's a rectangle or a square. The rows and then the number in each row. So let's go ahead and count how many rows there are. One, two, three, four, five. And the number in each row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And all we do is multiply five times seven, and that will tell you the entire number of squares in there. Now, some of you are really good at multiplication, and you know right away that five times seven is 35. If you don't know, fives are easy to skip count, so you could think in your head, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, that's seven fives. Now, don't forget your unit. If this rectangle did not have the dimensions on the side, this would also work perfectly. Since we know the dimensions, and it is a rectangle, we could have just looked at this without counting and said seven times five is 35. It's very tricky. You have to just remember that perimeter is the fence, which is the total length around the shape, and area is the carpet, which is all of this inside the shape. Good luck!